Hey y'all, welcome back to another YouTube video. So I have less than two weeks to read four books to meet my reading goal. I'm gonna start with Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes because my friend lent it to me. So I'm gonna start with that and then watch the movie someday, one day. I'm not gonna lie, I just finished chapter one and I almost fell asleep. It took me a few chapters to realize this book is in third person. Like in one chapter I was like, did they just switch from first person to third person? I threw the book. I'm about a quarter way of the way through. I'm on chapter nine. But I do love getting to the parts in books where like you find out like what the title means. So it's getting more interesting, but I have been reading and then watching new girl on intervals because this has no dialogue and i'm a di dialogue girly you know but i'm glad to like switch up my reading so it's currently what day is it today Wait. thursday so it's thursday and my four books i placed on hold the library or i'm gonna pick them up on saturday and i plan to finish this book before i pick them up so that leaves less than two days to finish this book guys right, so i just went to the library and i got all of emily henry's books to finish before the end of the year i'm gonna read them in order of how she published them so i kind of forget what the first book she wrote was about wait did i even go over them book lovers happy place and then people we meet on vacation and i know they're summer books but here we are they're quick reads so i can finish them all but surprisingly i did finish this in like two days a little over two days and my review is i gave it four stars like my bookmark I did give it four stars. The end was a little bit slow, like the last 50 pages, it was slow, I was struggling, but it's very dark. Compared to our other books, I feel like this was the most dark book. It was also slow in the beginning, th slow throughout the whole book, but it did pick up, so I did read it pretty quickly. I wouldn't say this is the best Hunger Games book, but I also forget what the other ones are. But yeah, I'm excited to watch the movie. I'll update y'all next on these other books. <laughs> This girl has the weirdest name ever. I would never name my kid Poppy. Okay, I just finished reading People We Meet on Vacation and I gave it 3.5 stars on Goodreads because maybe I just don't like Emily Henry's writing, but I found the first half of the book to be like low-key terribly boring, but then it like picked up afterwards and it was fine. But honestly, like sometimes Poppy, like I didn't like her that much and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the characters in her books were kind of just like forced to be with each other because I remember saying in the last book that like I feel like they weren't meant for each other and like even in this book, like they had different life goals and like I guess they kind of were meant to be with each other but like I had mixed feelings. Yeah, I'm hoping that the next two books I have to read before New Year's will be better. I'm gonna read Book Lovers next, so. Okay, so I do want to elaborate on why I did think this book was boring because in the first half of the book, it kind of left me on a cliffhanger like because it jumped from the past to the present and while that was not the boring part, like once we did get to the part which was like the climax, it was underwhelming and that just like solidified the boringness. Like they're just like I knew what was going to happen which obviously I do know and like all the books was going to happen. It just like, I don't know. But I will say that as I'm reading this, this book is kind of like not as bad as I thought compared to this. Like this is more interesting, it's just the main character. Maybe I see so many similarities, similarities between me and the main character, but I don't like the main character. These characters are just like more likable obviously I guess because friends to lovers while this is like enemies to lovers kind of. But this is more interesting so. So I did indeed finish reading Book Lovers and now I'm reading this. I have like a little over 100 pages left but i'm pretty proud because i didn't read that much yesterday i read like a third so i'm reading the rest today which is new year new year's eve day so happy new year's eve i kind of excited for 2024 2023 was a good year but book lovers i think it was like i gave it a 3.5 like people we meet on vacation because it was written better but i preferred the characters of people we meet on vacation better surprisingly because book lovers the main character and also, similarly for this book, I don't like the main character, like the girls. I feel like they're really, they're like needy. They're like, he doesn't love me, but they're not really thinking about like 
like they're kind of unreliable narrators in my opinion but i did end up liking the girl in the book lovers in the end but the ending was my favorite i guess because it was over but this book so far i do like it it's interesting it was interesting from the beginning and although it does jump from past to present like um people when we on vacation it has gone by really quickly which i really like that about like romance books because if it's going by slowly it's just boring like, there's nothing to it but this has gone by very quickly i'm not sure why because it is like almost 400 pages but i'll i'll update y'all on my final review tomorrow after i finish it so on new year's day i to the part where this girl the main character harriet literally says promise we'll end things before we ever let them get like that like to a situation where like they hurt each other literally that's what he did because we're just gonna spoil the book okay skip the next 15 seconds just in case it's a spoiler they literally stopped the engagement because he broke up with her but literally that's because he wasn't happy he didn't want to make her unhappy and now she's literally living her whole life like oh he broke up with me i'm so mad at him even because i loved him so much but like literally he did it for you like that's what i'm saying like these books okay so i did finish happy place like with 15 minutes to spare on new year's eve so happy new year's but i did give this book four stars which feels a little generous but it was better than the other two books honestly i don't i don't think their chemistry was that good maybe i just don't like her <laughs> But I will read her new book that's coming out this year in 2024. But yeah, I definitely would not recommend like reading all these in a row because all of the like stories blend in together, having trouble like separating each story. Okay, but the reason I did give it four stars was because it was interesting and I was able to read it quickly. So, and it wasn't like boring like the other ones.